who is R.E. Cummings? CEO of the Who, the Who Am I Project Incorporated. Mr. Cummings, welcome to the show. Pleasure to be here, Mr. Mr. Smiley. Can you tell me who is R.E. Cummings? First of all, I want to thank God and I want to thank you for having such a uh, fantastic idea. You have a platform where your viewers can uh, view these type of programs. And I'm just happy to be here. It's been a long time. R.E. Cummings is uh, the son of R.E. Cummings Sr., uh, who was a printer who printed African-American contributions and history on different paper products uh, in the 70s. He spearheaded the actual idea and the concept of giving African-Americans recognition and honoring the deeds for their contributions in America. And he opened up a storefront uh, in Kalamazoo, Michigan in 1975, and he got all of his products copywritten in Washington, D.C. Uh, as who am I? Uh, to and what did I do? So what we did, we, we, we come out with pictures of people uh, who, throughout history, who were the pioneers who opened up the doors for us to have uh, our history in America, who made contributions, who were the trailblazers, and we would match the picture with a small bio. Uh, since then, it was transformed from the school supplies to paper products to uh, a game called Who Am I? You would have Sojourner True, Marian Anderson, you would have um, Martin Luther King, you would have um, Shirley Chisholm, uh, Jesse Jackson, different people who were trailblazers, who were the first or changed history in, 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 in any way or was, say, uh, made a milestone in American history for African Americans in this country. So when he's opened up his storefront business, I was watching him. And as he printed and worked on this project till the day of his death, I took over from where he left off. I picked up the torch and take it to the next level. And I'd be on the cutting edge of technology, 3D avatar interactive, where you would have lots of African Americans who were first. We would have the bus from this, the, the torso up to the face where you could actually interact talk to a moving, um, a live 3D avatar individual. How did you move from, uh, from the printed Who Am I game to where you said you are going to the 3D avatar? My daddy was such an insp inspiration for me that I had the dream and God gave me a vision to take it from the paper game to where people could have it on the internet. They could also have a website where they could just interact with whomever they want to in 3D. Uh, um, 3D, just having like CD-ROM called Who Am I? And would have uh, as many different individuals as possible uh, who, were, uh, who, are the, who were not in history books or who were left out of history books. Um, it seems that we have had involvement in this country, made great contributions, not only need to be noted, but we also need to know that we, had, we played a major role in the building of this country. And African Americans have to have some type of collaboration that's in order that can be disclosed for institutions of higher learning, uh, colleges, high schools, uh, elementary schools, where children and people of all ethnic groups can learn about the contributions of African Americans right. uh, to, that we made to this country. You said it's interactive. Right. So what does that mean? That means you can pull up a person and you could actually talk with them. You could actually interact with them uh, for a specified period of maybe five, five minutes. And then they would take you to another link where if you wanted to do in more of an in-depth study of that person's history, you have that also available to you. 
I, I, I heard you earlier, you just said you wanted to get this into the schools, the university, the colleges. So what is the process? I went nonprofit. I'm a nonprofit entity um, uh, in conjunction with um, in the Indiana Youth Institute. Uh, the people that work with me, uh, Felicia Brewer, Brewer, excuse me, and uh, um, Vanessa Rutledge have been very instrumental in helping me put this together and keeping that, keeping the fire burning in me, where people can start learning about who African Americans are, what role they play, and where we exist and where we fit in in this country. So, what do you need? From the community. I don't want to compromise the quality of the project. I want it to be the best pro uh, quality possible. And I need donations. I need funding. I need capital. I need 3D programmers, animators. So if you do that, I'm reaching out for you to contact me um, at, at my P.O. box and address that's on the screen that you can call in or you can just send me some correspondence by mail. We need to raise money. Uh, and this is a very expensive project. So money is not an, uh, uh, the issue. It's about getting the, the, the education out there, getting the entertainment and getting the history out into the people's so in their grasp so they can actually see it and, and interact with it. He is Mr. R.E. Cummings, the founder and CEO of the Who Am I Project Incorporated. Mr. Cummings, thank you for coming on the it's show. It's a pleasure to have you. God bless you. Welcome to Who Am I Before 1937, the company would not recognize the union and would fire a porter just for joining.